staff programme has been going in Gateshead now for five years. It builds resilience within communities, enables them to deliver things that they want to deliver for their local people, including families. The HAF programme keeps families together. It enables them to spend more of their budget on other things that's important to them because their children can get out, get activities that are healthy and meaningful and get healthy hot food as well while they're out enjoying themselves. We're here today at Bladen Youth Community Centre and we're delivering stuff for the young people of Gateshead, trying to target holiday hunger, making sure that those young people can return to school fit and fed after the holidays. We've got a lot of diverse range of activities in Willis School Derby, we've also got graffiti artists coming in tomorrow, then we've got football, basketball, dodgeball, a huge variety of sports, and then we've got a healthy cooking course whereby young people can come and learn how to cook on a budget. So again, a real diverse range of activities should suit the needs and, and interests of everyone. Activities like skating, very much like riding a bike, learning new skills can be really enriching for young people, give them like a sense of empowerment and make them feel like they've really accomplished something out of the day. It's just a good hobby and you're with your mates as well, so it's a good laugh and like everyone's like kind of a beginner here, so he's all like just on the same level. They're seeing everybody fall together, they show resilience, they get back up again, they keep on trying. Most importantly, they're doing the smiles onto the faces, they're having some fun and they're enjoying themselves. You fall over and you laugh at your mates. Just like a fun thing to do. Yeah. They've never done it before, some of them, so you can see the progress they've made from the start to the end has been really good. It's something to do. Instead of just staying at home, it's like getting out and doing something. Mm -hmm. We're doing an Italian themed cooking day, a strawberry and mango tiramisu in the morning and this afternoon we'll be making meatballs with couscous and then they'll be enjoying it together and it's all part of the nutritional programme that um, forms a big part of the holiday activities and food programme. We've been cooking um, a trifle. Uh, I'm looking forward to tasting it. I always like to try something new. We've also been in, able to incorporate other things today. Today we've been doing fractions, so we've been doing half the mixture, we've been doing counting. So there's all sorts of things incorporated in cooking and it's just so essential to know that the things that you put inside your body are just so crucial for um, healthy mind, healthy bones, healthy outlooks. Having a hot lunch at least once a day for young people is proven to be very, very important. A lot of families can't afford to give their children hot meals every day. So they tend to have snack meals, they tend to have bags of crisps, unhealthy food. The HAF programmes offers a hot, healthy, balanced diet along with fresh fruit, vegetables uh, and activities. Well, they get a lovely meal, that's for sure, but they also have learned really good um, sharing skills this morning. They've also um, got a meal that they could prepare for their parents. I've made sure that it's really accessible ingredients, really um, easy to replicate at home so they will have those skills that they could maybe go and perhaps even teach their parents something that they didn't know about food and nutrition. So, watch guys, hold that pointing down with your left hand, yeah. scratch it like that. We are lighting fires with the children using flint and steel, they are then using a fire to make bread and then the toast and marshmallows to finish that little activity off. We've been making a fire. We get some dough out and put it in the fire over there and then we'll have to let it cool down. And we've got to kind of cook it and roast it and when we're done we're allowed to like put jam in and eat it. It's really good and it always gets, the smoke always gets in your eye. We are also doing orienteering across the woodland and they are finding orienteering flags and then they are finding a code on the flags and decoding that code to come up with a sentence about the week. I'm breaking the codes by adding the um, alphabet. Parents love it because the children come back home tired out after a day of uh, exploring and they want to come back again and again and again. So lifelong memories, that's what they're getting. So one of the key things that we have is we talk to young people, we ask them what they want, especially the teenage group. Our young people, who are half eligible young people, 
come along and volunteer as their activity, whereas where little kids come along to a play scheme, our young people help deliver the play scheme. If young people talk about what young people need, it makes the young people feel like listened to. So this half programme, like we run sessions, but it's like all youth based. We make them ourselves and deliver them ourselves. So it just boosts the confidence as well. So we've got a range of projects that we do. Transport costs, school uniform costs in PE opportunities. We've got emotional wellbeing and it's just basically another family. We're going to the cinema and for food. Because it's just a way to kind of like gather a group together and kind of, it, it's almost like people talk over food and talking is communication and communication builds relationships. Young people come thinking that they're just going to come and hang about and maybe get involved in a couple of activities and a year or so later they're delivering conferences and speaking in front of hundreds of people and they never imagined that they would. I keep going to meetings where I have to speak in front of adults which I never thought I would be able to do and my confidence has grown and I think I've grown as a person as well. It's just been a way to kind of engage more with the area and really kind of feel like I'm doing something worthwhile and like actually benefiting the community as a whole. I was just running a drama workshop today with the kids we were looking at um, physicality through acting. I started off with some warm-ups. Um, I like to do a mixture of kind of concentration games, getting to know you games, and some physical ones as well because they just love running around in there and having fun as you could see. Um, and then we're going to develop it this afternoon and do some physical stories where they make images with their bodies, thinking about their facial expression and then we put it into a story which they kind of have to switch between, transition between the images really quickly and it always goes down really well. It gives them an opportunity to try different things, which I think is really important, and sometimes push themselves out of their comfort zone, um, making new friends. There's different people come each day sometimes, so there's always new people to meet and uh, make friendships with. I think just for them to come and give things a go is really important, and sometimes they might not get the opportunity to do some of these things, so it's a good, safe place for them to do it with new friends when they come. We set up Embles to be able to support individuals and families and just help to make things a little bit better for them. We bring families together. We do fitness classes for the kids, activities. We provide lunch and we just do a mixture of fun and games. So we've been playing dodgeballs and we've been doing some games with exercising. I've enjoyed like how all the games we've played and it's just nice and fun to get some like um, exercise done. I'd say the hardest thing at the moment is financial. Just to take the children out on a day out is an expensive day. Just bus fares alone. This is what we've needed around here for the children and for adults really. Where you can hear yeah, the children are all having fun. <laughs> we've offered over 100,000 places in Gateshead in the last five years to be part of the HAF programme. The offer increases, I'm pleased to say, every year in Gateshead because the, some of these families struggle and they, they need a lot of help from HAF. It's been incredibly successful. We've been very, very impressed with the impact it's had on our children and the, the wider school, actually. The feedback has just been, when can we sign up next? When can we do it again? They love it. They absolutely love the clubs and I think you've seen a real drop in that anxiety coming back after holidays that a lot of our children have felt. You know, it doesn't feel so scary, yeah. 